been sitting on my nightstand for a few weeks now. So today I'm going to be highlighting my hair and not just any highlights, but cap highlights. So I bought this pack off Amazon. It came with like 20 of these caps. If you're not familiar with this, you put this cap on your head and then you just kind of like crochet hook your hair out and highlight it. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I was having trouble seeing the little holes, so I went in with a sharpie and just kind of like outlined them again so I could make sure that I wouldn't miss a spot. Bleach. Bowl. And I have every kind of developer. I think I'm gonna use... a 30? Maybe 30 with like some 40 developer in there. We'll see how that goes. So I usually do my highlights with uh, foils, but I got really lazy and really curious about how the cap highlights work. Also, I've been watching a lot of Brad Mondo videos and if he's against something, that pretty much means I'm going to try it. So as you can see, my roots are pretty dark. It doesn't look too bad on the top, but then the back and through the middle. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna leave my hair down parted and just like comb it well and put the cap on that way. Cap time. Wow, I can't hear anything with this on. <laughs> That's cool. Hope no one needs me. It fits pretty snug, but I have a really big head, so. I don't know if this will work for you. Oh my god. Ow, how do I not tie my hair in it? And here's my crochet hook. Come on. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. Uh, what the? What the? Oh, you gotta like stab your scalp to get it. Hold on. Oh. Okay, this is like a bang strand. I don't think there was a hole there. I'm starting to wonder if the longer your hair is, the more painful this is. Pro tip, um, I wouldn't do the front of your face first because then you can't see when you're doing the rest of your hair. I might be bald right there.
That's not even a joke, it's been... 10 hours? I don't know how people do this themselves. Maybe it's easier if you don't do as many holes or someone helps you, but I wanted to do it all myself and see what that was like. And it was hard, would not recommend. Okay, so now I'm just gonna mix up my bleach and, uh, you know, plop that on probably the root area first, where it's darkest, and then I'll see how it's lightening and kinda maybe do like a bleach wash or something on the rest of my hair, we'll see. I tried to make it like quite thick so that it doesn't seep into the holes. Oh my gosh, should I separate this hair? I'm so sleepy. There's no turning back now. Armando says to section and he's my YouTube hair god, so he gets what he wants. Okay, I feel like I should explain. This is the moment where I was looking for a bag and then I found the bang hair that I had cut last year. I had no idea that I had kept it. Okay, so I mixed up another batch of bleach with some shampoo in it and I think I'm just gonna go into these like weird splotchy areas and do a bleach wash.
ready, but I'm just so tired. Um, I need this to be over. I think that's good enough. I'm gonna wash it and then do the fun cat pull thing. Hopefully it doesn't rip my hair out. Oh no. She brassy. As miserable as I am, I feel like it's not light enough, so I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> bit brassy towards the ends but I feel like toning will help that. Moment of truth. I'm so scared. Um. <laughs> oh my gosh my hair's so heavy how do people take these off? Neat. Wow. I don't really see any bleeding. I'm gonna go ahead and wash this out and go to sleep because it's 3 a.m. now and um, I'll be back tomorrow. Oh, hey, what's up? It's editing me again. This video is getting a little long, so I went ahead and separated it into two parts. I'm almost done with that video, so it should be out in a couple days. Here's a little clip of what it looked like after I washed it and blow dried it. I know it looks insane now, but I promise I fix it in part two, so make sure you watch that. Please watch my video. Don't forget to give this video a...